Good morning, everybody. Well, we just picked this up not too long ago, as you can see earlier in our vlog. Hey, Pangani tribe. We are in the process of buying a new camper. We have been looking for a while. Um, we wanted something small that we can just keep in our yard here in Florida that we can take on weekend trips and things like that. And we think we may have found this little pop-up, two little beds, um, two big beds actually, like a king and a queen. Perfect for all of us to fit. Just take quick trips, AC, pop it out, perfect. So we're pretty excited and we'll see if this one works out for us. Today, I'm gonna work on uh, just seeing, you know, taking a little bit of inventory of what we need to make this thing super awesome. You can see there's some little issues here. We got this for a really good deal. We got it for $2,000. Market value, what I'm seeing a lot of these sell for are anywhere between four and five. That's pretty fair, especially for the condition of the canvas and everything like that. Um, but there's some things that need to be done. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna repaint this. Um, I'm gonna patch it up. I'm gonna put new seals and uh, seal up everything. Take off all the old sealant and the gaskets and maybe even change out these or get this off the old flagstaff sticker this door doesn't have a latch catch right there so we need a catch on there and so i'm about to pop it up right now and uh yeah all the latches are undone and see what we can't do um you guys know we have that 36 foot rv that we lived in for quite some time and um oh i gotta throw that tv away and um that's in Louisiana. That's being rented out over there at Pat Kayak. And we still wanted to take some vacations and some camping trips with the family here. So we decided to get something like this that we can venture out on, you know, during the week. Am I doing something wrong here? Am I going the wrong way? Going on here. Huh. What's going on? Oh. I forgot one of the latches. Maybe that was the issue. Okay. First time popping this thing up. There it goes. Okay. All right, so then you gotta get this. to come out. Don't wanna pull it too much. Oh, here's a little pull tab, okay. <sighs> Lift and pull maybe, no? Okay, let's try the other side. Mm -hmm. This side comes out a little easier. So I gotta check what's going on. There's some brackets in here. go in here all right we got it popped out <clears throat> next next we have to get the canvas up so here's the sink Ah. Okay. All these little things you gotta remember, you know. That and then this will be our paper towel holder. Ah, okay. So next, you have to take these right here and somehow 
plug it in and it punches in there, I think. Shannon's vlogging in there. But this goes in right here. And then I got this adapter, 30 amp down to a 110 right here, which we had to do this with our bigger RV. You know, we have a 50 amp RV, the 36 foot trailer, and we would taper it down to uh, 30 amps all the time. So let's see, let's see if we can fit. No? Ah, darn it. Yeah. I'm gonna get some AC rolling if we're gonna be messing in there. Boom. All right. Let's go see if this AC turns on. that rolling okay I was looking for the door everywhere I forgot it goes right up here you gotta watch yourself because you can hit yourself in the head so oh see just like that you gotta be careful all right let's see what's in here a bunch of surprises they left us a bunch of stuff <laughs> cups plates a toilet not ugh. Forks next to the toilet. Awesome. Yeah, anything open. We're Beans. Get it. Even the plates? The open ones. Okay. Shannon wants to get rid of those. We got these. This too? Yeah, get rid of anything open. Oh, geez. Okay. <laughs> Paper towels? I mean, we can use them. We can use this for cleaning. Yeah. These cups? No, not open. Not open cups. Use toilet paper? Oh god. No? Oh, oh, what? Got a fan. Yeah, that's, oh, that's a nice Dish soap. Forks? No? Shan doesn't want anything used by anybody else. I mean, I like, I use these stuff other places, but these are sitting in their bathroom area. Who knows how much they clean? Yeah, that's the surprise. <laughs> oh, can of beans. Shannon probably doesn't want those either. Okay. Waste food, that's fine. <laughs> Toaster oven. What else? One of these that are all used up now. Oh, dang it. It was sitting under the drain. Wet. Okay. All right. Yeah. Let's see. Might need to put a spacer on this or use a bigger one. Let's see. We have it inventoried. You know, we got everything. We know what's inside. And we even went to Home Depot and we got some supplies. I'll show you that stuff here in a little bit. But now we're gonna crank it down I kind of need Shannon's help for this, but I'll do it little by little because I think it's about to rain soon. So I got Oe, I got Oe helping me out today. Hey, buddy. Now, as you crank it down, ideally you want a second person going around and tucking all this stuff in. And so we're about to do that right now. See all this? We want it. We want it tucked in so it doesn't. Not get closed on itself. Well, it's been a little difficult to work on the uh, RV. You know, it's it's Florida and it's raining right now, always raining. And but one thing that I worked on was getting this sticker off over here. There was a sticker, and so I need to get all of this off of the RV, and so or the camper. And so I think what I'm gonna do because I don't want to grind off too much of like the texture on that on the uh, shell of the camper and you can see right here how it's like textured on there and if I grind too much see I gotta patch that up if I grind too much I can just you know knock that texture down and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try something 
I'm gonna get my heat gun and let's see, we got one battery left on there. All right, let's replace this battery. That one charged up. Yep. All right, we're just using this little, this little thing. So here's what I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try just to heat up the decal a little bit, rather than, cause this one, there was one right here and I was just like grinding it off and I was knocking down some of the texture, which is not what I wanna do. So I feel like if I heat up the vinyl, um, that old decal on there, it, I can grind it off without putting as much pressure on it. So let's see. That looks like it might come off a little easier. found a better way so <clears throat> what I'm doing is initially so you can see how that that texture is still there that's what we want we don't want to knock the metal all the way down so that it's just flat when you paint it it looks kind of weird so I'm using this to kind of um, like rough up the decals a little bit kind of like that just get a little rough um, and then what I'm doing is I'm heating it up with the heat gun and then going through with this like metal scrub here. So let me give you an example. So like right here, you see this area? See this area, it looks pretty clean. Now we're gonna go, this is the smeared vinyl, you know, all the sticky stuff is all smeared and you don't want that when you're trying to paint. So we're gonna hit this section after it gets a little warm. See how that just comes right off, all the sticky? That's what we want. I decided to take a break from that and I'm going to start stripping off some of this old, you know, the seal, this caulk right here because we have to redo it. It's just years and years of people putting it over and over and over to seal it, which isn't the best practice. You know, you should try and get the old one off so you can get a nice tight fit and not just have to keep, you know, globbing it up like this right here. See that? It's all globbed up right there. So I'm taking it off and we're going to reseal it. It's going to rain soon. So I'm just going to do this one side. Well, it's going to rain like a few hours. So just get up under here and 